Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. So last episode what we worked on was discovering some animals here. Um, one of the things that won't be fully possible is to discover all of them. There's just too many rare creatures and it's going to take too long to actually do. So what I'm going to do is there's two other planets in this system. There's that one and there's another one somewhere around here. <laughs> So we'll end up going and exploring those instead, I think. Uh, we did scan quite a few different things on this planet, so I think we did pretty good for that. But, um, actually, hold on a sec. What is over there? Copper. We could use more copper. Let's just go quickly, um, get that, I guess. It's only like a hundred and something units away, so... I think it's U for units, right? Or... I don't know, it's the measurement that they use for distance around here. Alright, so it's kind of in the water. Or not really, but sort of. So, what we'll do... Now, it says this is copper. Doesn't look like copper, but okay. Um... Let's go ahead and get out our multi-tool and we'll flatten this area. Don't know if we're actually picking up any copper, tell you the truth. Yeah. Maybe it's a little bit deeper. I have no idea. Says there's copper here, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah, I think that's um, a broken note or something like that. Because it didn't look like copper on the surface. That's alright. I'll just head back to our ship. Yeah, it says copper, but I don't think it is. I think it's just, like, it wasn't even picking up silicone for some reason. I don't think... Maybe I was, I don't know. Just charge that up. Okay, so... I did get a lot of the, um... Warp drive, uh, filled up, so... Ow! Didn't even see that there. Apparently there was two of them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we can warp out of here anytime that we want, so... That's good. Though we did have a trouble finding a new system last episode, so... <laughs> I don't know. We'll try to get away from the main. Thank you. 
Alright, so I ended up um, warping to a new system, and then, then there was this freighter under attack that I just ended up saving. I collected the reward instead, and we got a cargo bulk hold and I think something else, but um, I believe that's our second um, pirate battle for the freighters. So the next one that we get, which should be roughly in five jumps or so, should be um, a one of the better uh, capital ships. Um, on my personal save, I, I tested that theory, and it seems to be true, so according to Wiki at least. Now, we are in a new system with a lot more planets. The other two that I had options for ironically had to do with uh, Extreme World, which we did not have proper equipment to actually be on the planet and scan all the entities and stuff. And there was like 11 entities, so I'm like, okay, I'm not going to do that one. That, so I flew out to space, found the other planet, and it was a aggressive sentinel one. And I'm just like, okay, we need to go to a new system then. <laughs> so we're here. We have a whole bunch of planets that we can explore. And we discovered this new system. So it's actually really good for economy. But before we do that, let's go ahead and go to the space station just so we get that uh, particular one. I think, if I remember correctly, if you go to the space station and land there you can unlock the portal so I always do that just to be on the safe side and um, then we don't lose the uh, solar system so hard to tell what directions which sometimes <laughs> okay so we'll land here and I actually want to see what the trades are because this is a uh, science one, I think. So it's supposed to be a really good economy here. At least that's what the um, thing said, so... just want to see if we have the level 5 uh, trading item quickly. And it does appear that we do. So we got... Um, neural duct or whatever it's called so we only get like a five percent or minus five percent discount but it's still more than what a lot of places would offer and it's we get a level five which is really good so All right, what else do they have got some stuff here that we could use and then uh, another thing that should Alright, so despite the heat, uh, we managed to get all eight creatures on this planet, so we can collect 2,000 nanites from that. Um, I did collect some copper, so we can uh, refine that into some uh, ship fuel for the warp drive. Uh, that will require a few things for that, but um, what else do we need? We need got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, 
Mainly needed the copper for that, but uh, we can craft up one of those. And we're going to need ferrite for creating one of those up. And then we can finally combine the two for those. So let's just quickly place down a refiner and then we'll fill this up with... Oh, we don't actually have a lot. Uh, I'll put what we have in there and... Here we'll probably refine if we get I don't know how much it requires so I'm gonna put 30 in here and hopefully we'll have enough fuel for that let's just see how much that it's gonna cost us 50 so yeah probably about 30 it's actually more about 25 each because you get two two of these back so We have enough fuel that would be good if not there's some plants around here that we can mine I think that's a carbon plant should probably pick some up just to be on the safe side and got a little bit of carbon from that Perfect, so we got that. There's apparently big worms on this planet as well, or something. I don't know, I was wandering around here and it just like popped out of the earth and just like flew over. Um, oh, and this planet's apparently got a settlement emergency broadcast, but we're not far enough in the game to actually do that. Like, uh, I prefer to have one of the mech things. And for that, we need to do the um, base missions, I think, or might unlock it through the base missions. I'm not sure. If not, then we'll have to unlock most of the stuff. Uh, that's kind of towards the end of the base mission stuff, but thankfully, we won't have to face a um, a walker, which is a really big thing this this time around. They did a huge combat update. It's a lot easier to do so. All right, so now that we have that, we can craft up this. So I'm back at the base. Uh, I tended to the crops. We haven't, we didn't do that yesterday, so I wanted to do that quickly today. And I needed some supplies for uh, finishing this recipe up. So basically, I wanted to put a bolt 
blaster uh, or bolt caster on the um, our multi tool. So I got all the parts that we need for that now. And now we should be able to use ammunition. So I've been stockpiling that. Uh, we should have some in here. So we can use that. Um, outside of that, though, oh yeah, that's right. I had a uh, I bought one of those another upgrade, so we can add that to there as well. I'll go here, upgrade that. Not sure which one's better. One damage, one damage, shots per burst. Uh, burst cooldown, burst cooldown, about the same. Reload time, 14, so we'd probably want reload time. So we'll do it that way instead. That'll be a little bit of a boost on some of the technology as well. So we should get quite a bit of shots. We have like 72 shots with this. Let's just quickly test this out. Yeah, it works pretty good. All right. Outside of that, um, we got an entire planet discovered. We went to a new system, did our second um, freighter battle. So next one, we'll be able to claim our uh, capital ship. So that'll be good. But um, I want to do some more of these missions now that we got a few things discovered and stuff. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.